Hey, I'm going live again today. I haven't gone live in a couple of days. Um, I have a sign up here where you can't see anything. Our next meeting is this Thursday. What is it? 25th, 4 to 5.30 p.m. It'll probably be shorter. Um, I'll put the link below. Uh, again, if you like these videos, please click like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you're watching this on uh, YouTube, um, and share, comment. Comments get answered right away. So I just had a deal fall through. Um, it was a retail deal, wholesale deal. I didn't do a lot of work to it. And I should have known something was wrong because the borrowers, mortgage company and realtor were just not responsive. So we've been in contract for a month and now they say that they need an extension. They say that they, say that they, they, say that they need an extension for credit repair. Now I know credit repair and I can tell you credit repair takes a long time. They say they need five weeks of credit repair. Most credit repair takes six months at minimum. So, um, so the deal fell through, right? They're asking for an extension for credit. This is not a good mortgage company. Sometimes you get pre-approvals for people that they haven't even run the credit on. That's clearly what happened here. Um, so I just took it down. I told them I'm not extending it. I'm killing the contract. So I'm going to take it down off of MLS. I'm going to put it back up. Now, the truth is I'm going to put it up for more money because I had a bidding war when I put it out there. So I think I'm going to do better. But this time is such a freaking deal killer when every single every single time you every single time you got to wait. It sucks. But hopefully I will make up for the extra time by charging more money, hopefully we'll get in contract right away. So it sucks when a deal goes bad, but it's it's just the way it is. I think I, I should really institute like a three week mortgage con, uh, mortgage commitment clause in my contracts going forward. So if in three weeks they can't get a commitment and people are gonna scream and yell, it takes longer than three weeks, but if they don't order it, if, if you sell a property and they, and they don't order an appraisal after three weeks, then you know something's wrong. And in this case, that's what happened. So we all sort of knew that this was not gonna be a great deal and now it's dead. So had a bunch of deals since before COVID die. Um, all of them seem to be doing okay. I made a little bit less on a wholesale deal that's closing this week. Um, but overall, I think we're doing okay. I'm close. This is could be the busiest week I've ever had. I think I'm going to sell five properties between Monday and Monday, and I'm getting into contract on two more. So this could be the best week ever in my business, but I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched like I was counting the money for this deal before it came through. So when a deal falls through, you got to... Uh, be okay with it. Right? I mean, hopefully you have enough deals in your pipeline that when a deal falls through, it's not the end of the world. In the beginning, when I when I started and I was doing uh, deals, if a deal fall through, I was, uh, you know, close to tears. But thank God we have enough deals that I have enough deals where it'll be okay. So that is uh, what happened. The deal falls through. You got to man up and work on it hard. We took the listing down. We're going to put the listing back up, which we may get in trouble for with the MLS, but it's a new MLS and I don't think they know what they're doing. So uh, hopefully... Uh, we sell this property for more money than last time um, because we're going to list it a little higher because I think we listed it low, too low last time. Uh, I think we listed it at 379. I think we're going to list it at 399, but we were in contract close to 399. So we'll see what happened. So um, when a deal dies, you got to uh, man up. Uh, hopefully you have enough deals in your pipeline that you can live with a deal dying and you got to pivot, as everybody says lately. You got to pivot, pivot and do what's right. But I think that uh, this could be a good thing. So we'll see. Um, you know, every time a, a deal falls through, it's usually not a good thing because you got to hold the deal for longer and you got to pay taxes on it and you got to pay holding costs on it and you got to pay interest on it. But I think overall, uh, this may end up being a good thing for me. We, I will let you know. All right. The property address is 11 Short Place in Hempstead.